exhausted. <laughs> Peep the bed here. Let's fix it. for the funky lighting situation, but it's what we got. Listen, before you go anywhere, always check your oil and your coolant level. Because I was actually a little low on coolant. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up real quick. Sorry, neighbors. So these all packed up. see his perspective don't forget to check out no lift garage we're just talking about the front bumpers actually take a look not too shabby considering how far we drove um bug wise but gartrell's car is actually surprisingly better or at least it looks that way i think the color does a better job of actually hiding the fact that it has bug squats but anyway we're over here at the gas station it is two dollars and 90 cents for 93 um, and the weird part about this is I've never seen the fact that they have 87, 89, 91, and 93. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and fill up. Gartrell has a, uh, a jerry can that he's going to be filling up as well. I already filled mine up in Queens. Um, like I said, you know, we're a few minutes away. I'll update you guys once we actually get to the, uh, to the track. We have officially arrived now it's time to find the homies and park up drivers meeting and all that good stuff We're here at new york safety track you can see we got the little setup with the gang subi's over here we went ahead and just finished empty every emptying everything out here let me show you super clean on the inside don't have anything loose, no change, no pens, nothing extra that is not required. You see the back seat, my, you know, my car never has that much stuff. Now, if I go ahead and open the trunk, I'll show you guys how I'm rolling right now. You see literally, absolutely nothing. And I have the wires for my Subi Speed Third brake light, but 
That's it. I unplugged those because it doesn't work anyway. Uh, got the homie, of course, Gartrell right here with the M4. He's in the process of doing the same thing, emptying out everything that's loose inside of his car. And then if we take a look over here, got the whole gang with Judy and Bruce. Judy got her E92 and Bruce bought the bike out. <laughs> pretty crazy he actually also owns an e92 convertible about to actually get ready to check the tire pressures on all four corners as far as things that i've done you guys have already seen all the previous videos that i made with preparations that i did to the car in order to make it effective here and of course reliable but let's just go ahead and get into checking the tire pressures all right, so when I went ahead and got the car corner balance, like you guys saw in the video, tire pressures actually make, you know, the tire pressure actually makes a pretty big difference. We actually did the corner balancing with having 30 PSI square. So let's see what we're at right on the money. So the first passenger side front tire is at 30 on the dot. I'm gonna go ahead and check the rest. But before we do that, show my guy over here. Vlogging one time, no lift garage, you already know. Oh, damn, bro. So freaking aggressive. Sheesh. I just finished checking all the tire pressures. All of them are at 30, so we're looking mint. Uh, and yeah, I believe the driver's meeting is next, so we'll go ahead and chime in once that starts. Uh, most of you have been here before, right? Okay. Who hasn't been here before? All right, so quite a few. Uh, we're gonna keep it simple. Uh, the rotations are gonna be First group of the day from the top of the hour to 15 is gonna be cars. Then you're gonna run expert groups from 15 to 30, intermediate from 30 to 45, and then of course novice groups from 45 to the top of the hour. Except for the first session, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the cars go off for half an hour to drive the track up for us. Okay, as you make the right over three, come over to press for five, there's another red dot going into six. Okay, from that point on till the end of Wheelie Hill, over it, there's no passing. Okay, the entire time you're here. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Cars, when you're out there, we're gonna do point by passing only. All right? So keep an eye on your mirrors. When you see somebody up here, they've been up here for a couple of turns, get off race line, put your finger out, point them by, let them go. Hold that. Okay. Well, let's clap it up before we leave, sir. Thank you. So long and now it's finally happening oh man thank god i appreciate everything that i've gone through i appreciate all the knowledge that i've accumulated appreciate all the cool people that i've met that you know go out of their way to help me out make sure i'm good appreciate all my friends that are here with me support you know all these little things mean a lot to me but i can't wait to get on the track wait till you guys see this
Man, so we just came back from my first session. We got a 144.7. Super freaking excited about that. If you guys take a look, I was actually getting on the brakes maybe a little bit too much, but they are smoking. Um, but yeah, you know, everything. Oh crap. Looks like my brake fluid a little bit too hot as well. I'm gonna take it easy now. You know, it was my first session now. I pushed the car extremely hard. Seat time, guys. But yeah, listen. I'm so excited. This was definitely worth it. It was great. The car was amazing. No issues at all. All right, guys. So I went ahead and caught my breath. Sorry about that, but it was a little intense for me. Anywho, once again, huge shout out to Judy and Bruce. They've been a huge help. They've, you know, we don't have everything that we need. We have, a, you know, the majority of the stuff. But now that we're here, we see, you know, it's important to have things like a fan, maybe a generator for next time, just to be a little bit more prepared and, and make the track experience that much more safe and enjoyable, I guess. So huge shout out to them. You know, it's really important to have good people in your life um, because, you know, without them, you can only get so far. So, like I said, huge thanks to my friend Judy. She's awesome. Bruce, I appreciate you as well. Gautrell, I hope you're learning something. This, that's what today is about. It's all about learning. You set, a, you set a time and then you start analyzing what you're doing in each corner and figuring out a way to shave time off per corner. You focus on one corner at a time. That's the way you work it. So let me show you something real quick. So for all my peeps who have drilled rotors, it is super imperative to keep these holes unclogged. So you could take a pick and slide it in, but you can see mine were super gunked up. This definitely reduces the actual brake pedal feel and also the brake pads effectiveness. Very important as you'd imagine, just like any other time, you need your brakes, obviously. Now in case you guys are wondering, I am running the stock STI pads. I am not running aftermarket pads, so I'm excited to see that the car is performing this well and I'm able to bring my skill level up to where the car is currently at. Remember guys, driver mod is the best mod. How do you improve your driver mod? Seat time. But anyway guys, I'm gonna start getting ready to go out on my next session. Cheers. got back my second session now uh, so far I've been doing every other session just to kind of give the car enough time to pull down um, one thing that I can say so I was able to drop the pressure in the tires to 28 all around that definitely improved the uh, the overall grip throughout the corners that for the next session I think I'm gonna try 26 and a half psi in the front and then 28 psi in the rear and see if that helps reduce some of the understeering 
that I'm encountering um, mid corner. Um, on top of that, the car's been running great. I haven't had any issues yet with coolant, oil, anything like that. You know, when you take care of your car, it holds up and it shows, especially on a day like today where I'm pushing the car very aggressively. Now, in this session, I did build up a little bit of uh, brake dust slash residue in the actual holes in the drilled rotors. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those out. Sheesh, once again. Um, I'm gonna sit this one out. Gartrell's gonna go again and uh, see if he can improve his time. Right now, his best time is a 152, um, which is pretty solid considering that this is our first track day, you know? We can't expect the world. We're here to improve. We're here to analyze, you know, what we're doing and, and see how we can correct to become better. So I'm super stoked. This last session, I don't know if I mentioned it already, I ran a 145.2, so about six tenths slower than my first session but this session I use a lot less brakes I just try to focus on keeping the momentum up and using as little brakes as possible only where I felt like the car needed some assistance turning in so we'll see what we can come up with I believe the next session after this is going to be after lunch so we'll see how we go let me show you guys what the car looks like the car's current status believe it or not the camera doesn't know justice but the z40s are super dirty and my freaking brembos went from lime green to like yellow it's crazy what he does to it if you take a look you can see that they are blue which means that you know they're they're pretty hot one thing that i do want to do when i go ahead and swap out the brakes of course get some better pads but i'm also thinking about doing either some slotted rotors or maybe some full face rotors so this way I have, don't have to worry about this issue that I'm encountering with them clogging up. But the rear don't look too bad. The car is filthy right now. I am rubbing in some sections, but that's because I am going, you know, over the, the rumble strips. There's my guy right there. I'm trying to get my story done. peeps it's official the first track day complete shout out to slim bruce and gartrell and also judy she went to go get her tire fix hope everything goes well um what can i say about today we learned a lot a lot a lot about my skills where i can improve a lot about the subaru and how we can make it better um, so overall, I'm very, very glad that I came out today. Once again, sorry. <laughs> Once again, huge thank you to Judy and Bruce to, uh, for inviting me and my buddy. Um, you know, we would have never known about this if it wasn't for them. So huge thank you to them once again. Uh, I'm excited to see what the future holds for the STI. I'm gonna take it out on one last lap. 
like I mentioned earlier, my quickest time was a 144.7, and then the lap after that was a 145.2, and then the lap after that was a 145.1. So I've been consistent, which is pretty solid. Super excited about that. But listen, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, type in the comments, track gang. Because, I mean, I've been hooked, but this just pushed me over the cliff. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, never stop growing. Peace.